Here we are getting started on day 16 of our kitchen remodel project. Uh, we're nearing the end of the project here. And uh, here's my brother Neil in the white shirt here. Um, our first project on this day was to uh, cut out these holes for the sink fixtures. Uh, you see Neil here. Uh, we've pre-marked uh, where the holes are going to be. There's going to be three holes one for the faucet in the center and then we have one for a reverse osmosis uh, spout on the right and one for a soap dispenser on the left uh, and so all of the uh, hole positions have been pre-marked here and uh, you see Neil here is cutting down uh, cutting through the granite tile and uh, into the mortar and then there's just the plywood under that um, so he used a couple different tools here uh, to cut through the different surfaces uh, here he switched over to uh, my DeWalt drill and a, uh, a Forstner bit uh, to cut through the plywood section. So at this point I had run out to uh, Home Depot, I think, uh, probably my 40th run of the trip. Um, fortunately, Home Depot is very close by, so, uh, so making all these runs wasn't that bad. So here you see Neil is uh, fitting in the faucet and he's made all the holes here and I've returned from Home Depot so Neil's next priority is going to be uh, to just finish up the backsplash he's got uh, most of it done just one section up here at the top that needs to be completed and then he'll move on to uh, doing the trim around the windowsill uh, for the windowsill, uh, he pre-cut some two-inch granite tiles, uh, or so somewhere around there, uh, whatever the windowsill depth was. I'm not exactly sure, uh, and he custom beveled the edges of that area too. So here I'm uh, working on the electrical for uh, these GFCI sockets and switches. Um, around the counter area. Um, I'd ran out when I went to Home Depot earlier I, I picked up some uh, some different outlets and switches um, after looking at the backsplash and uh, how nice it was looking and then uh, looking at these electrical outlets they stood out like a sore thumb being uh, this white uh, material so I went out and got some brown uh, outlets and switches and I got these uh, sort of aged bronze looking uh, electrical covers uh, that basically perfectly match the color of the backsplash material. Uh, so here I'm just going through and uh, replacing all the switches and uh, and the outlets um, with uh, GFCIs uh, that match the color. So also uh, my wife Jessica is returning this day with our uh, with our kids. So I think I was just talking to her on the phone there. Uh, she went up to Northern California for a few days and uh, stayed with uh, some family up there and uh, was just returning to uh, check out her new kitchen today. So here I'm moving over to the opposite wall. Um, I'm putting a uh, LED TV on this wall and I pre-ran uh, on previous days um, an electric line to this area and uh, HDMI and an Ethernet cable and so there I was just putting uh, this uh, box in uh, behind where the TV will be mounted and here I'm moving on to the island range hood um, just preparing to make the final electrical connections for this uh, range hood and then uh, will with Neil's help I will uh, mount the range hood up here uh, so here I'm uh, I'm making all these connections and splicing it all together without uh, fully thinking this through at this point that this uh, this other stainless steel uh, section needs to go on before I make the electrical connections, but uh, but it ended up working out that I was able to test the electric on it actually, and uh, didn't take too long for me to uh, disconnect it and reconnect it right here. So here uh, Neil's helping hold up this uh, stainless steel section above, and we push it up in position, and now I'm just going around and uh, making the final uh, connection, screwing this uh, island range hood in. So this island range that I got through a company called uh, Signature Hardware, uh, SignatureHardware.com, uh, was a, a pretty good deal uh, compared to some of the other more expensive range hoods I saw. 
and uh, we liked the look of it and uh, it's been a great range hood now um, I'm speaking about this now about uh, three or four weeks after uh, we finished installing all this stuff and uh, it's worked great so far and uh, we like it so here you see uh, the I've tested out the fan and uh, and the lighting on the range hood and everything's working great so here I'm just making uh, I'm going up to these uh, screws on the top and I think I would put a little bit of uh, Loctite in some of these screws just to uh, really secure it in position and then now I'm moving on um, I cut some uh, some of the same trim that I used on the uh, door trim and uh, Neil had uh, mentioned on a previous day that he thought it would look good to just do door trim you know the same trim up there and so uh, I thought that was a good idea so I just uh, cut some might might nerd and cut out some pieces here and I'm putting that up. And uh all this trim will be uh uh the finish nails will all be countersunk and then I'm putting some uh some mud in here too and then after uh after this area is all set I'll uh paint you know repaint it too for a nice finished look. So at this point, I think uh, Neil's outside actually uh, finishing up a little more, um, a little more polishing and grinding, and doing some beveling. Oh yeah, here we go. So yeah, here's Neil um, doing some final uh, beveling on some of these uh, counter pieces. This is, uh, I believe, the section for the drop-down counter section. Um, he's just doing a little custom uh, bullnose um, for these uh, two edge pieces on the end. Uh, just sort of have a nice smooth surface there and he goes through uh, each of these sections with like seven or eight different uh, grinding discs uh, all the way up to a polishing buffing wheel that gives it a a nice shine that matches the top surface of the uh, of the granite tiles so here you, here you see he's continuing on to these uh, these other pieces that he beveled uh, which are for the windowsill here And so this creates a nice uh, look where it really connects uh, between the counter material, these 12-inch uh, tiles on the counter, the backsplash, and then the window trim. And just has a really nice uh, finished look. And so here you see him uh, connecting the top pieces too. And here's, uh, oh yeah, Ernie, um, I'd asked Ernie to come in this day. Um, uh, he's a plumber too, and so uh, he was gonna come back and he had done some work earlier on the uh, on the plumbing connections beneath the sink, so I just had him come back so he could uh, finish up those plumbing connections that he started. And here you see Neil uh, putting these last pieces in here, these last four pieces on the drop-down section. And this section uh, we will later use to uh, put some uh, a little herb garden here where we can grow some uh, basil and cilantro and mint and uh, other stuff we use regularly in the kitchen. So here you see Ernie. Uh, Ernie uh, had his son with him this day, so his son came out too. So, with, oh yeah, at this point uh, we realized that uh, the sink connection, we needed to uh, drill out uh, a little more of the plywood underneath in order to uh, to be able to screw in this, uh, this faucet that we have. This is an existing faucet um, that we had already bought after we bought the house and, and put in. Uh, so we wanted to reuse this faucet, but um, we realized we needed to cut out some additional wood on the plywood underneath. Uh, just to give enough uh, room to screw in the nut on the bottom of the faucet. So uh, Neil's down here with a, a mask on and a light and uh, and a couple different bits and uh, trying to just cut out a little section of the plywood. Uh, he's, he had mentioned he'd had to do this before on other, on other jobs.
So here I think he's got the faucet pretty much figured out there. And here I'm just putting together the uh, last components of the stovetop here. So we can test out the gas and there you see flashing on real quick. Um, we have gas running to the stovetop and they ignite up. So here I think I had run out to do uh, yet another Home Depot and food run and returned with some dinner. And so at this point you see uh, Ernie's got blocked out the uh, reverse osmosis line on the right and the, uh, the soap dispenser on the left over there. And he's just making, uh, making all the connections here, connecting up the uh, dishwasher drain line into the, uh, the garbage disposal. And I'd already uh, researched and got some uh, some fittings for the reverse osmosis water system, um, so it could connect right into uh, the garbage disposal. We changed from uh, we had a double sink before, and I really wanted to go to one of these uh, really wide um, single sinks. It's a, a cast iron uh, sink uh, with a white finish, and uh, I just really like the the larger single sinks. Uh, just so you can put larger pots and pans in there and uh, they're not always awkwardly hanging at an angle as you're trying to wash them. So yeah, there's just a single drain in here that goes down through the garbage disposal. And you can see that's all the uh, filters for the reverse osmosis system off to the right under the sink there. You switch out uh, some of the filters every six months and some every year, and then uh, there's one filter that, that gets switched out every uh, two or three years. And then off to the left of the garbage disposal is the big tank uh, for the reverse osmosis where the, uh, the filtered water is stored. There is a Neil sign, day 16, approximately 200,000 images, and that is actually uh, about how many images the GoPro took at that point. So we're taking images every two seconds, uh, basically for, uh, well, at the end of this project, for 17 days straight, we took images every two seconds and uh, uh, went to probably an average of 13 to 14 hours a day. Uh, the GoPro was a real trooper. So here you see Neil is uh, putting the grout in on the backsplash. Uh, we went with this uh, sort of brownish grout. Um, when it dries, it actually uh, dries a lighter color than, uh, than it looks right now. Um, it turned out really nice in the end. So he's uh, grouting all the, the backsplash area. I'm just uh, finishing up a couple of these uh, rolling drawers for under the stovetop. Um, we really hated the space under our stovetop before. It had a, a gas line that was running right through the center of the, uh, of the shelves. We just had a, a single shelf before under our stovetop. And this gas line was awkwardly running right through the center. Uh, sort of in the middle of the cabinet and so uh, in this new configuration I, I set it up so the gas line would be completely at the back of the cabinet and really hidden away and uh, so we have some sliding drawers actually under the uh, stove top uh, which we're really liking at this point um, gives us uh, tons of storage for uh, pots and pans and all of our uh, cooking tools so here you see Neil is uh, wiping down the backsplash uh, removing the excess grout and uh, the GoPro camera here is uh, sort of creeping off to the left by itself, I'm noticing. Uh, I had it on a uh, on one of these little adjustable uh, mounts, and I don't think it was tightened down fully. So it was creeping off there, but we readjusted it. So here you see a close-up of the grout work Neil's doing. And you can see the, the nice variations of the uh, glass and different tile in it. And uh, once we get the lighting all finished up and get that shining down, it looks uh, really nice. So here Neil's just uh, removing all the, the tape off the counter. He put down all that tape um, over the countertop so that the backsplash grout wouldn't fall down um, where the 
top tile goes, and now he's working on grouting the countertop. So this grout color is a different color. It's a charcoal gray grout. And uh, here, before the end of the night, Neil ends up finishing uh, all of the grouting on this top counter section too. Uh, this is another late night. I think it's close to midnight at this point, and uh, Neil's just wanting to uh, get this grouting done as we're almost done with the project. Uh, we've got about one more day after this, uh, and then the kitchen will be complete. So yeah, that about does it for uh, day 16. I know the video cuts out a little short here on this one, but continue to the day 17 video to see uh, the final stages.